Okay, we're gonna be installing some liners on the 2024 Silverado Duramax. So got the, the liners, the instructions right here on how to do it. You've got all of the bolts, the nuts there, the retainers, and we're gonna start installing it. Uh, I don't know why they don't come with it. Don't like the look. So we're gonna try and put them on and kind of walk us through. So each of the sides is gonna have seven little bolts, the two plastic nuts, and then this retainer clip to help put the liner, hold it up while you do the rest of the alignment. Um, here is the liner and we're gonna go see how they look. So we took seven of the retainers and we're gonna be putting them on each of those square holes, just kind of popping them in one by one. And that's what's gonna help hold all of the, uh, the wheelhouse liner in place. Uh, so you'll see they pop right in. Do all seven, do both sides the same. And then we'll go to the next step. Here's the tools we're gonna use. So we're gonna use a Torx screwdriver or bit, uh, some pliers, a little hook. This one's to remove the clips if you don't have it, just a flat head screwdriver. And then a small ratchet with a 10 millimeter um, socket. It's gonna help us. And then... Okay, so we remove this clip from the back, the one on the outside, and then this one from the back, also from the outside. You gotta press in those things with the pliers once you take the screw out, and then move the plastic out of the way and push it off. You can see the liner comes with two clips on each of the ends, so that's why we gotta remove those two outside ones and the clips so we can use the ones that are with the liner. That way it helps keep it in place. So we're gonna Align it with that top bolt right there. And then we're gonna align this two. So this two side ones is where the uh, plastic nut goes. Somebody's learning how to do the install over here. So we're gonna try to line it up with that top screw. Put it in place and then we'll start putting everything else in. So just slide it in behind the frame so that way it's in the back side not on the front okay so we lined it up we put the retainer clip to hold it in place lined up that screw this screw and then we're gonna have to align each of this ones with the other bolts that we have so we're gonna have to move it around a little bit and find where each of the screws is so we can line it up so you just keep going until you get all seven of them done and then we can see this one is the one we have taken out we aligned it with the clip inside so now we just got to tighten it there it is definitely changes the look of the truck just by adding that small piece sucks that they don't include it but it's not a too bad of an install it's probably about 30 minutes 45 minutes for both um you know if you have some better tools uh that are able to fit in those tight spaces other than the ratchet and that i try to use it might be a little bit faster but overall not bad